Good morning. This is Lou Ann from Blackberry Rock Homestead. So it's Thursday. Time for a garden tour. So let me turn the camera around and let me show you my garden. At least part of it, anyway. Um, these tomatoes are doing good, and I've been watering them in the morning. These two, uh, as you can tell, I ain't watering the mint because I have mint elsewhere. Um, but for the most part, I didn't clip any of these um, twigs like yesterday when I was clipping everybody. Maybe I need to just go along and clip. Get all these yellow ones off. Get that off. Um, to my understanding, this is what you need to do. Get all your yellow leaves off. Looks like I could probably take that one and root that, and then we'd have another tomato. Uh, I might need to do that uh, later. And I do need to water my sea. Um, we got one pretty daylily over here for me. And don't ask me what the name of that one is. I have no idea. Um, these brandy wines are doing eh, some so-so. And the chicken wire is over that because chickens. Uh, and I do need to plant another tomato over there. I haven't had a chance. And like I said in yesterday's video, it is really, really hot. So it isn't really the idea time to plant. I'm going to throw my jugs over here. Uh, I do have one little, a few cucumbers on the cucumbers on this side. Um, there's my lone, one lonely okra. My comfrey is doing great. I need to make some comfrey tea. And zoom over here. This is another squash. And as of right now, the blooms aren't falling off. And I did plant some zinnias. I don't know if they're coming up or not. Um, don't look like it. Um, here's my row of sunflower, okra, sunflower, okra. These are doing great. Chickens scratch these up. And... Over here is, there's an okra and an okra. Now let's go into tomato land. This is my tomatillo. This is the only one I got. Um, and from what I've read, that it won't produce unless there's another one. Uh, I do need to harvest my basil. I have tied up a few of the tomatoes, uh, but I do need to harvest my basil. Uh, like I said, I didn't clip all the yellow ones, the ones with yellow. There's one. Just throw it over there. And my chamomile. Do not put chamomile in the sun because same way with, there's my sage. Um, another basil. The chamomile down here didn't do very good. There's thyme. I don't remember what kind that one was, but it's variegated. Can see the leaves are variegated and then this one isn't I need to harvest it chickens have been in here and scratched up my peppers so I only have one sweet pepper because they like getting in here and scratching um, I might have to go and buy me some more and put them in the greenhouse and maybe hopefully they won't dig in there uh, the watermelon, these are two different types of watermelon. Looks like I got one, two, and three. Looks like they destroyed that one that was in the corner. Um, the potatoes that are in this, I don't know if I would harvest very much of it. Um, same way with my nastrums, the sun's kind of got it beat down. Uh, I haven't checked my cabbage. We are a four minute ahead. Um, the tomatoes in here and the basil, um, I only got tomatoes there. That one died. Uh, and then I got two, hot, these are hot peppers. I finally got around to planting my one tomato that I had bought that looked terrible. 
uh, more basil I need to trim and these up here this one's not looking very good um, these are jet stars so they started out good and this tomato I say it's had it the chocolate mint has took over uh, got a bloom on this squash whether or not I get one I hope so uh, that watermelon's doing okay uh, every evening about every evening I'm having to water my squash along the fence along with the sunflowers um, and these are I do believe Kajari melons and they are blooming um, they are blooming 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 and I think this is spaghetti squash but there is some that are been blooming you can tell so they are good for the most part I'm having to water these every day every evening I water them um, I seen something yesterday let me see if I can find it it was a bloom but it had like a bulb on the bottom don't see it like it was getting ready to produce once that bloomed but I don't see it today so let me show you the okra looks like the watermelon I planted is doing okay there um, and I did initially have five okras but thanks to the chickens I only have four okras I might have planted them close together but I'm not really been watering the, these in this area. Uh, let me zoom you around to my onions. I think my onions, my experiment, I was trying to get big onions. I think it failed because of the heat. I should have got them started earlier in the year. So I'm just going to leave them alone. And hopefully come uh, when we finally get some rain, they'll come out of it. But I... I, I just don't know what else to do. I cannot. I know uh, this bed needs to be weeded. Um, so I don't know what else to do with those. So I don't know. So that's end of the garden tour. So see y'all later and have a very blessed day.